shaved for the first time in weeks yesterday, so you know what that means. It's swimsuit time, baby. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am gonna be doing a pretty extensive review and try on of swimsuits from Aerie. Aerie is one of my just like overall favorite brands. And I've also found that over the years, the swimsuits that I've purchased from them have been some of my most used. So with it finally officially being summer, I figured that a lot of you guys are probably also looking for new swimsuits. And I know how hard swimsuit shopping can be, especially this year, since shopping in store isn't really gonna be a safe option for a lot of people. It can be hard to know what a swimsuit will actually look like and fit like when you're shopping online. So hopefully this video can take a little bit of that scariness out of swimsuit shopping and online swimsuit shopping. And you can get a better idea of what those swimsuits will actually look like and fit like in person, hopefully by watching me try them on before you have to spend your own money. Also, I just wanna add this before we get into the video. Although I'm getting back into posting my normal content, it's really important that we don't don't stop fighting for black lives and listening to black voices. I'm linking a bunch of resources and donation outlets down in the description and also in a pinned comment, as well as a link to register to vote. If we wanna see real change, not only do we need to be making those changes in our own lives, but we also need to be electing leaders who are working for change and advocating for marginalized communities. And I know that's not what this video is about. We're just trying on swimsuits, but you know, with having this platform, it's really important to me that I use it in the ways that I can for good. So check out the links in the description and the pinned comment and let's get into the video and try on some of these swimsuits. So all of the swim on Aerie's website was buy one, get one free. So I just made sure that I got an even number of pieces. So I was getting the best deal. So essentially everything that I got was 50% off because it just rang up half the items as full price and the other half as one cent. So I'll just be telling you guys the original price of everything. So it's not too confusing, but just keep that in mind essentially everything was about 50% off. Scrolling through the website, they had a ton of swimsuit options, like so many different cuts and styles. And I also just really love their commitment to showing diverse bodies and not Photoshopping. That said, the line does only go up to an extra, extra large and a brand as big as Aerie does have the resources to be really size inclusive. So if I'm offering some criticism here, I would love to see them expand into a wider size variety. They have a few different cuts of their swimsuit bottoms listed on the website. And I tried to get as many different kinds as I could so that I could give you guys a well-rounded review. But some of the categories literally only had one option when you clicked on it and it wasn't available in my size. So I was able to get bottoms in three categories to try, high-waisted, high-cut cheeky, and bikini. The tops also came in a bunch of different varieties. So I tried to get as many options there as I could too. And I also got a one piece. So the first swimsuit that we're gonna try is actually the very first one that I saw on the website. And I thought the color was just really striking. So this is the Airy One Shoulder Bando Bikini Top. And I also got the bottoms, which are the Airy High Cut Cheeky Bikini Bottom. The original price of the top was $34.95 and the bottoms was $24.95. And here, we have it. The color is like equally as like poppy in person. I tried last season's version of these high cut bikini bottoms from Aerie and I really liked them. I ended up wearing them a lot. So I'm hoping these are just as good because the swimsuit I bought that's in the same cut from last year is pretty worn out. That is one thing just from my past year's experience with Aerie swimsuits. They're really freaking cute and they're moderately priced, but they're not really gonna last and hold up more than one year if you're wearing them as much as I do. Also the top, I love the idea of the one shoulder, but I'm a little bit nervous about it just as like a, a bigger chested girl. I'm afraid that my boobs are gonna look lopsided. <laughs> Well, we'll find out. Let's try this on. All right, we are off to a pretty good start. I love this swimsuit. I'm so happy with the way it fits and the way the color looks in person. Let's start with the, let's start with the bottoms. I think that's a good place to start. These bottoms are a pretty good high-waisted bikini for me. I love things that are high-waisted, but I also have my belly button pierced, so I like when I get to show that. I don't know, it's one of those little things that just makes me feel more confident, especially when I'm in a swimsuit. And so I like that while these bottoms are high-waisted, they hit just below the belly button, 
so I still get to show that. And I'm not the biggest fan of cheeky swimsuits. I like full coverage more, but if I'm gonna go with a cheeky, these honestly aren't too bad. They're showing a little bit of booty, but not too much, not to the point where it's like a thong bikini. So it's a, it's a pretty good balance. Usually with my swimsuit bottoms, I feel most confident when there's some sort of detailing, whether it's like a gather or ruching or just like something. And these bottoms are just straight cut across one color, not really much to them except for this band right here at the top. So I do wish there was some sort of detailing and design on the bottoms, but honestly, I think the simplicity of this is part of what makes it so stunning. Also, I totally forgot to say what size I got in these when I was unboxing. I got the top and the bottom in an XL, and I would say both fit me exactly the way I want them to. Wouldn't size up, wouldn't size down. It's just chef's kiss. Perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and rate each piece individually out of 10 and then the whole swimsuit together out of 10. So the bottoms, I'm gonna give a eight out of 10. Now let's talk about the top. So like I said, I was very nervous about the one shoulder, but honestly, I feel like it works and maybe it's just me, but I don't think it makes my boobs look lopsided. <laughs> the top itself is very stretchy. And so even if there wasn't the one side and it was just a bandeau top, I don't think it would be falling down that much. It feels pretty secure. I've never worn a bandeau top like this with one side before. And I actually really do like it. And I would say I prefer the one side to the just nothing straight bandeau top. It would give a weird tan line though. So I'd have to be cautious of that. Does it unhook? No, it does not unhook. I also really like that this top is long line, which basically just means I have that like extra inch or so of fabric underneath. So that definitely helps to make me feel secure and locked in. I feel like this is a swimsuit I could do all sorts of like beach and pool activities in. One issue with this swimsuit top though, is it has boning on just the right side actually. And I don't know if you guys can see it here, but the boning kind of pops out in a weird way. It doesn't lay exactly flat. And so I worry that with a little bit of use, the boning might start like poking me in the side. It's always something that I could take out and I don't think it would ruin the integrity of the swimsuit, but it definitely, it definitely gives like a point off. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this top a nine out of 10. I really, really like it, surprisingly. And the swimsuit as a whole, I am also gonna give a nine out of 10. I think when you take everything into account, it's a really cute swimsuit. It's bright, it's stunning, it's eye-catching, and it's comfy, and I feel pretty locked in and supported, so. I'm happy. Our next swimsuit is the Airy Jacquard Bikini Bottom and the same top, but in the long line scoop bikini. The bottoms were originally $24.95 and the top was $39.95. Now, the reason I specifically got this one is A, because it was one of the few that actually came in the standard bikini cut versus high-waisted. The vast majority of their swimsuits are high-waisted and I usually do prefer high-waisted, but since I'm trying to give you guys a comprehensive review, I really wanted to try some lower cut bottoms as well. Also, when I was going through the reviews, as I always do, especially with swimsuit shopping because they can be really telling, there were quite a few reviews that specifically said this is a great swimsuit top for bigger chests. It's very comfy, it's very supportive. So I have high hopes here. It is the top, the bottom, let's try it on. Totally forgot to say the size of the swimsuit when I was unboxing. So I got the top in an extra large and the bottoms in an XXL. So let's talk about this swimsuit because I actually really, really like it, both the top and the bottom. Let's start with the bottoms. So the bottoms, I, I don't remember if I got the XXL because they were sold out in an XL or if because they're like a standard bikini cut, I wanted to make sure I had enough room. But I do wish that I had the XL because these are just a little teeny bit too loose and I'm afraid that they would be falling down with any bit of like movement, especially because they're a lower cut bikini. I wish they were a little bit tighter to me so that I felt a little bit more secure, but they're not too loose. I don't have, I don't have the saggy butt. Uh, maybe I do a little bit. <laughs> you know when a swimsuit is a little bit too loose and like the fabric sags? I don't quite have that. It's more of a comfort thing. Definitely still wearable though. And I, spoiler alert, I'm definitely gonna keep this swimsuit because I really, really like it. So I'm, I'm fine with this size. I really like the cut of these bottoms for a standard bikini. I feel surprisingly comfortable. They hit in a really nice spot and the sides are relatively thick and the back has a good amount of coverage for me. I think the color and then the fact that it has this like lace overlay and then the lining below it is really, really pretty. So for the bottoms, I am gonna give them, uh, I'm, I'm debating what I should give them because the sizing thing is my own fault. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a nine out of 10. I really, really think they're a great pair of bottoms, especially if you're watching this 
and you do not like high-waisted swimsuits, but you want something that's gonna make you feel comfortable, I think these bottoms are a great option. Now let's talk about the top because the reviews made this top out to be amazing and I have to agree. It's kind of like the perfect top if you want something that's low maintenance, comfortable, and still really cute. It's low maintenance because the top isn't super low cut and it's just a little bit of a scoop neck so you don't have to worry about any nip slips. It's comfy because it's very supportive, but a lot of the supportive swimsuits I have are sometimes like compressing and they fit more like a sports bra. So yeah, you're locked in, but it's not necessarily super comfortable to wear all day. This is a super stretchy elastic material, so it fits to my chest, but it's not pressing or pulling or digging in anywhere. It's actually kind of loose. And it's also a long line swimsuit, which is also really, really nice for comfort, but you could easily roll it up like this if that's what you like more, or if you're laying out and you don't wanna have this tan line. The straps are adjustable and they are thin. I wish they were a little bit thicker just for that extra bit of support, but they're, they're pretty supportive. The top is almost perfect. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half out of 10. If these straps were a little bit thicker, it would be perfect. And the swimsuit as a whole, I am gonna give a nine and a half out of 10 as well. I think it looks really cute together. Definitely keeping it, really like it. Also, I'm gonna have all these swimsuits linked in the description. So if you want to shop anything you see in this video, I will make that relatively easy with the links, hopefully. Next up, we have the Aria Jacquard Keyhole Bando Bikini Top for $39.95 and the Aria High Waisted Bikini Bottom originally for $24.95 and I got both of these in an XL. So here we have them. The top is kind of like this, is it like a halter? I guess it's not a halter. I thought it was when I was looking on the website, but the straps actually go all the way to the back. They just start like in the middle of the boob. And then the bottoms are the highest waisted bottoms that Aerie offers and also the highest waisted ones that I'll be trying in the video obviously. And I love a good pair of high-waisted bottoms, especially with a top like this one that isn't long line. It's more of like a, a shorter cut top. So I like to balance it out. Let's try it. I got a new background color. What do you guys think? We've got the purple. I feel like the swimsuit really pops in front of the purple. I like it a lot. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like this better or the blue? We swapped this with the blue paper roll that I used to have. Anyways, Back to the swimsuit. I think the swimsuit looks really cute, but there are definitely some issues with the top. Let's start with the bottom because overall, this is just a really great standard high-waisted black bottom. It has paneling, so the sides are ruched, but then the center is just like regular fabric. And I think it looks really cute. It's definitely comfortable. The sizing is consistent. It's not digging in anywhere. It lays really, really nicely and it hits just above my belly button. Also, the back has more coverage than the cheeky bottoms. So if you're not a cheeky, girl, definitely recommend the regular high-waisted bottoms. So the bottoms on their own, I'm gonna go ahead and give a nine out of 10. There's really nothing wrong with them, but they're also not like standout, amazing, perfect. You gotta work to get a 10 out of 10. There's gotta be something extra. The top, I really love the look of. Like when I look at it in the camera's viewfinder, it looks gorgeous. I feel like this is something that if I saw on someone else, I would immediately compliment them about, but the actual comfort is, there's some issues. So first, First of all, just like with the first swimsuit, it has boning, but this time on both sides. And I don't know if they changed something in their manufacturing or maybe these swimsuits just have some issues, but the boning like pokes out and then it's supposed to lay like this, but because the boning is so sharp, this kind of folds under naturally. It's a little weird. Again, I feel like it could get uncomfortable after either a full day of wear or if it starts to wear through the fabric a little bit and poke you in the side. The gold strap right here that comes from the center cutout looks really pretty, but the material is kind of itchy. I think it's the, the sparkles on it. It's not so tight that it's sticking in. It's just the material is a little uncomfortable. It's not a super supportive top. Definitely not one that I would be like diving in the waves in, but it's relatively supportive. And the strap right here, I, I think it would keep it from rolling down. I like the keyhole cutout here. I like the design. I think it's a cute top. There are some issues though. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10. And the swimsuit as a whole, <laughs> I'm gonna give this swimsuit as a whole actually an eight out of 10. I think it looks really cute, but it wouldn't be my first choice because I really like to prioritize comfort and wearability with my swimsuits. My neighbor just started using their leaf blowers. I'm really sorry if the audio quality is not as great for the next couple minutes, but we're gonna keep going. Our next swimsuit is the one piece that I'm gonna be trying, and that is the Airy Ribbed Knot One Piece Swimsuit. And this, in addition to the buy one, get one free, was also on sale for $35.97. I got it in an extra large here 
It is a very different color than the rest of my swimsuits. I feel like I usually go for cool tones with my swimsuits and just most of my clothes. So I like how unique the coloring of this is and the ribbed material. Let's try it on. I really wanna like this swimsuit. And when I look at it in like the camera's viewfinder, it doesn't look bad, it just, feels bad. So I'll, I'll talk through it. Let's start with the positives because I do try to be a positive person. I do really love the color of this swimsuit. I like the idea of the little like knot front and the cutout. I actually surprisingly like having a ribbed swimsuit. It's really stretchy and comfy, but without like hugging my stomach in a weird way. And the straps are relatively thick and supportive. Now that's all I have to say on the good side. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of this. Number one, this cutout, I feel like is of a strange size. It's a little bit bigger than it should be. And it also goes a little bit higher than I want. And I'm showing some under boob. I don't think this would stay in place if I moved around at all. This would be like a lounge by the pool swimsuit, not like a uh, doing cannonballs and boogie boarding. And that's the kind of person I am in the summer, usually when we're not in quarantine. So it just doesn't feel secure here. And also I feel like the cutout's kind of an awkward size and shape. And the tan line would be pretty weird from this guy. <laughs> and I don't know if it's the structure of the swimsuit or just the nature of ribbed material, but this swimsuit has a serious camel toe problem. I was looking in the bathroom mirror for like a minute before this, just trying to pull it out and it, it just, <laughs> this is as good as I could get it just posing in front of the camera, but I don't think I would feel comfortable wearing this out and about and actually moving in it. The back of the swimsuit does dip pretty low, which I think is a cute look, but it makes these shoulder straps feel less secure, even though they are thick and supportive. They kind of naturally roll off the shoulder with just a little bit of movement. And I think that's because of the low back. I feel like I'd be doing a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this. It's just, it's not for me. It's not comfy. It's not functional. And it's a bummer. Cause like I said, I think the color of this is really cute. It's unique. And I actually think it looks pretty cute on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and give this swimsuit a four out of 10. Not my fave, but it could be cute for photos if that's the only reason you're buying a swimsuit. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I am high key nervous about this swimsuit. It is so out of my comfort zone, but the reviews, which we'll get to, were very, very positive. So I wanna give it a shot. I am gonna be trying the Airy Ribbed Knot Bando Bikini Top with the Airy Ribbed High Cut Cheeky Bikini Bottom. I got both of these in an extra large. The top was originally $39.95 and the bottoms were originally $29.95. So let's talk about why this top terrifies me. First of all, it's strapless, which I, I do own a few strapless swimsuits, but all of the strapless swimsuits that I own and wear are long line. So they have more coverage. This is like just cups and that's it. And it has the knot front. So I, I'm a little bit worried about like, the cleavage and the under boob and not to mention the fact that it's a white swimsuit, which white swimsuits terrify me because I'm afraid when they get wet, they're going to be see-through. <laughs> but like I said, the reviews were raving about this top. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to try something out of my comfort zone, might as well do one that a lot of people seem to actually really like. And it would be nice to have a less covered up swimsuit for when I'm tanning in my backyard to get rid of the tan lines that I have very quickly developed in the early bit of summer. And then we have the bottoms, which are in the same ribbed material, also white again. Nervous. But apparently this might be a good idea because I think my neighbor just stopped using their leaf blower. So let's try it on. Now the swimsuit isn't perfect, but I will say I like it much more than I expected to. One thing I do want to say before I jump into kind of analyzing this swimsuit is it actually did come with attachable straps. So in a little bit, once I talk through the way it is now, I'll attach the straps and we'll see how I like it with the straps. But I do really love that it comes with that option because if I wanted to wear this for like a full pool day, I could wear the straps to be more comfortable and then take them off if I wanted to lay out so I didn't get tan lines. Okay, so this swimsuit, I will say, I know in the orange one piece, I was concerned about the ribbed material maybe causing the toe of the camel, but um, this swimsuit is ribbed and that problem is not nearly as prevalent. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that was just a problem with that swimsuit. So the bottoms are actually the same high cut cheeky fit that is kind of Aries standard, but it's a ribbed material. So it does fit a little bit different. And I actually have to say, I think I like the fit of the ribbed material better than their regular material. It's a little bit looser fitting, but super stretchy. So it's not digging in anywhere. I have plenty of room, but these aren't gonna fall down. They're pretty secure. So I'm a 
big fan. I'm surprised at how much I actually really like the white. I think if I got a little bit more of a tan this summer, it would really pop. And even right now being relatively pale, I don't think the white is washing me out too much. So the bottoms, I'm gonna go ahead and give, oh, I don't know, because the white still does make me nervous. And I haven't gone in the pool in these, so I don't know if they would be see-through at all with water. They seem very thick though. Hopefully that's something Aerie has thought through. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that these aren't see-through and give them an eight and a half out of 10. Now let's talk about this top because I do, you know, it, it is a bandeau and it does have the knot front, so it's not super supportive, but it's not falling down as much as I thought it would. And it does have the straps, so that's nice. I think the look of this is really cute. It fits pretty comfortably. And I'm excited to try it with the straps. So let's put those on. Ta-da, straps. I feel like the straps actually take me from liking this swimsuit but having some issues to loving it. The straps are also ribbed, which I think is a really cute detail, so it matches the whole suit. And it just looks and feels really cute. And even though these straps are thin, they're surprisingly supportive. It added a lot of support to this top. I think the thing about this top is the construction of it and the thick band is actually as supportive as you can get with a bandeau top like this. So just by adding a simple strap, it keeps it from falling down at all. I think it looks really cute with the straps. I like it. I think this is gonna be my go-to like laying out backyard pool swimsuit and the straps make it super versatile and they're adjustable. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this top. Oh, I'm surprised at how much I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's really cute. It's it's really comfy, but if you have a chest that's bigger than mine, I could see more issues popping up with trying to keep this top up without the straps. And the swimsuit as a whole, I'm gonna go ahead and give, I'm also gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. I feel like good white swimsuits can be hard to come by. And if you're looking for a white swimsuit, this is a pretty good one. Next up, I got the Airy Ribbed Longline Bandeau Bikini Top, originally $39.95 and I got it in an extra large. I thought this would be fun to try and pair with the bottoms from the previous swimsuit since it's the same material. And this bandeau comes with removable straps. So if I wanna wear it strapless, I could, or I could put on the straps. And I have a swimsuit like this from last season. I'll insert the footage because I actually got it when I was out shopping with my friend Carrie. And when I first tried on that tie-dye swimsuit, I was a little bit nervous expecting it to not be as comfortable because it's strapless, but I ended up loving it so much. I usually wear it with the straps. And to this day, I would say it's my most worn swimsuit. So if this year's version is just as good and just as comfy, I am gonna be thrilled. Let's try it on. All right, so here we have it. The longer bandeau ribbon top. I am torn. I really expected to like this one way better than I liked the similar one that had like the knot here. But now that I have this on, I kind of miss that detail. The thing is the two ribbed white tops, while they're similar in the like fabric, they're very different in the design and it really just depends on your preference. I feel like a longer bandeau top like this one would be super awesome for someone who's just kind of starting to wear bikinis, maybe not super comfortable showing all of your stomach. Maybe you usually wear one pieces. This is almost like a one piece. Like you're really not showing that much skin. So it's a great transition swimsuit if you're still working on your confidence. Or if you're just someone who likes to be more covered up, this is a great option. It looks super cute. Again, surprised at how much I love the white with the ribbed. Let's go ahead and add the straps and see if that changes anything. All right straps. Now the straps actually don't add much support to this bandeau. I would say it's relatively supportive on its own. So the straps really just add security of not having to worry about it rolling down, but they're not really adding that much support. Whereas I feel like with the previous top, it really was game changing with the support. So if I were to wear this top, I probably wouldn't even wear the straps. I'd probably just go strapless, go with the bandeau. And it would be nice because I wouldn't have to worry about tan lines. Here's the thing though. I'm not going to keep two white ribbed bandeau tops. I gotta pick one. And I think I'm gonna keep the first one. And I am really, really surprised at that decision. I think the first one is more unique for me personally. It's different than a lot of the swimsuits I have. It's a great swimsuit for tanning and laying out. And with the straps, it was actually surprisingly supportive. I'd still give this top a really high rating though. I think it's great. I'm gonna give it a eight and a half out of 10. 
And the swimsuit as a whole, even though I already rated the bottoms, I'll also give an eight and a half out of 10. I feel like it's really cute. Our next swimsuit features the Airy Jacquard Not Front Scoop Bikini Top, originally $39.95. And this one, the color listed is Gatsby Green, which is a fun little nod for all my lit nerds out there. The reviews on this top said it runs very, very small. So I went with the extra, extra large. I'm hoping that's good enough. And then I'm gonna be pairing that top with the Airy High Cut Cheeky Bikini Bottom, originally $29.95 and I got it in an extra large. So here is the top. Honestly, this does not look like an extra, extra large to me, which makes me a little bit nervous, but it doesn't look crazy small. Definitely glad I sized up. But that's another problem with Airy Swim only going up to an extra, extra large is if you're on the borderline of standard size and plus size like me and something does happen to run small or you just need to size up, it gives less flexibility. So I'm hoping this works and here, here goes the leaf blower again. <laughs> Here are our bottoms. I think this print is super, super cute. And it's fun because there are so many different shades of green and even some blues in there. So I feel like there are a lot of tops I could wear this with. All right, so I have some mixed opinions on this swimsuit. It's not all good or all bad. I would say it leans more towards like the good side, but we'll walk through it. So I'm definitely glad I sized up on the top. The amount of coverage is perfect for me, but it isn't a super supportive top. The straps are adjustable, which is so nice. When I first put it on, I was like, this is not gonna work for me. The straps were super loose, but they're adjustable. So we love, that's great, problem solved. The top is very thin and pretty flimsy though, and it just doesn't give that much support. I don't know if that's a problem with like the actual top or the straps. I, I usually with adjustable straps, I feel like I have enough support, but for whatever reason with this top, Top, I just don't. And now that I'm feeling the band, I'm thinking maybe that's because the band is a little bit loose on me. And so it isn't tight around the width of my chest and maybe that's why the support isn't as good. I do like the look of this swimsuit though. The crisscross design in front is cute. I just, I don't think I would get a ton of use out of it because it's not that supportive. The bottoms are the same high cut bottoms that I've tried on now a few times in this video. And I really like them. I think this print is really, really cute. It fits nice. Again, hits in the perfect spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these bottoms an eight out of 10. And the top, I am gonna give a six and a half out of 10. Altogether, this swimsuit as a whole, I'll give it, I'll give it a seven and a half out of 10. Not bad, not great, but definitely wearable. Definitely looks really cute. And I really like the color. If you're someone with a smaller chest and you're not as concerned about needing to feel locked in like I do, then this would actually be a really great swimsuit for you. Our next swimsuit is the Airy V Space Dye Bando Bikini Top, originally $39.95. I got it in an extra large. Because there weren't any other types of bottoms available for me to try, I figured it was kind of a waste just to get another pair of the high cut cheeky bikini bikini bottoms that we've already seen three times. So I'm just gonna try this on with the blue bottoms from the first swimsuit. I feel like there's some blue in here, so hopefully it'll match. I think this top looks really cute. It looks super supportive. It's a little bit long line and it has the thick straps, so. I have high hopes, and this is another one, like the last swimsuit, where it has so many different colors tied into it that there are so many swimsuit bottoms I could pair this with, so. Let's try it. This one goes out to all the big boob ladies out there because this top is hella supportive. This might be the most supportive swimsuit top I have ever worn. It is fan freaking tastic The straps are so thick and they're tight to my skin without digging in. It's not really a long line swimsuit, which I kind of thought it was in the photos, but I don't even care. It's so good. It hugs and contours to my chest, which really helps me to feel supported and held, but it actually doesn't have any boning, so it's super comfy. The fabric is stretchy and elastic, so I feel like it would actually fit a good variety of proportions. The straps are not adjustable. They do fit me perfectly, but if you have broader shoulders, this might be a little bit too tight for you. I love the little V here. I think it adds a really cute detail versus just being like straight cut across. And I think the fabric is super cute. I love the like space dye, I think they called it. It's textured, it has the different variations in color. I just think this is a fantastic top. I'm gonna do it, it's the last swimsuit. I'm giving this top a 10 out of 10. It's really great, I'm keeping it, I love it cannot recommend enough. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have links to all the swimsuits I tried on down in the description if you're interested in shopping anything that you saw. And also don't forget to check out the resources and donation outlet links and the link to register to vote, which is down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video.
Bye!